I just said to Phil, where, where are we going? And he said, this is the gun shop. <laughs> it's like a shipping container. That's awesome. Welcome to Queensland. <laughs> saying it's his fault if we don't get a deer. So recently I was up in Queensland to connect with some of my hunting friends up there and I met up with Phil on the first day, literally straight out of the airport to go hunting with him on a property where he had some reds that he knew of and I didn't have a rifle so the first thing we had to do was go to a local gun shop to get a rifle. I just said to Phil, where, where are we going? And he said, this is the gun shop. <laughs> it's like a shipping container. That's awesome. Welcome to Queensland. <laughs> Hello. Is James here? No, he wanted off course. Ah, yeah. What can we do you for? He was meant to lend us a rifle. I know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to lend you a rifle? No. <laughs> That's fair enough. Now, unfortunately, even though the owner had promised us a rifle to borrow, he ducked out for lunch the time that we arrived. <laughs> typical Queenslanders just relaxing and doing their thing. So I didn't actually get to borrow a rifle. We had to use fields. And I'm not sure that's good advertising uh, for the business, but hey, that's that's what happened. So after we left the gun shop, we then moved over to the property and started the hunt. That's not a deer. <laughs> no deer. <laughs> <laughs> no deer. <laughs> if you shoot that, you have no idea. <laughs> Like I said, in the morning, normally, um, this can hold deer. It's unlikely at this time of the day that it will still have deer. Yeah, it'll be so hot. Um, but I thought before we go up the top, it's worthwhile coming for a look down the bottom. Yep. So what we're gonna do is drive to the end of the property, just have a quick suss out, and then come back. And then uh, on the way back out, we might get up and go for a walk or two, mm -hmm. um, depending. Um, but then we, the, the rest of the property we get to from up the top of the ridge line up there is another road. Okay. And that's actually where we want to head up into is up Into this thick area up here? Up, up there, yeah. So this is just because if you don't do this and you don't get a deer up there, you're always going to be thinking that they're here. Yeah. So, so if, it's, is, if, it's easy, <laughs> if it's easy to go down here first, go down here first. So this is so that you, you don't have in the back of your mind that they're all having a party down here. Yeah, hunting smart. So we jumped out of the car and the hunt was on and within minutes, we had an encounter. Phil's not used to this whole YouTube thing. What what you're thinking is? <laughs> so what I was thinking is we've got the road up the top. When we go up this, there's no doubt about it. We're just going to keep on bumping it up and up and up. But the closer we can get it to the road up the top, the better for us. Yeah. Then we can come back down without disturbing it. Get in the car and try it, and then go around and then have a look from the top. If we bump it coming. What sucks is when you look in the area and you go, I bet there's deer in there. And you walk too close and you're too impatient and sure enough, 
<laughs> and <I was> steering. <laughs> okay, well let's go down to the car. So you're probably sitting down on the toilet watching this video so far. Hey, no judgement, we all have to do it. But what you should be doing is getting involved in Australia's best hunting community, the Australian Hunters Club. Let me take 60 seconds, tell you all about it, and you can get back to your business. <laughs> Let's be real for a second. It can be really difficult for hunters who don't have other friends who are hunters and who aren't involved in a community of hunters that can help shape them and grow them and challenge them. And it's for that reason that I'm a member of the Australian Hunters Club and why I want to invite you to join. As well as your standard club benefits like hunting insurance and your genuine reason to own a firearm, our club also offers free member hosted hunts and access to private property, monthly guided hunt and gear giveaways, gear discounts, events and a bunch more. But more important than all of those things, we are a tight community of passionate and optimistic hunters committed to growing and supporting each other through honest relationships and mentorship. And we also love feeding our families clean and organic meat. It doesn't matter what hunting style you prefer or what game you like to hunt, we are a diverse community and accept all hunters. And so if that sounds like a community that you want to be involved in, I want to personally invite you to become a member of the Australian Hunters Club. Care deeper, hunt harder and grow together. All right, back to the hunt with Phil. There's some, and they're slightly different. That's three different deer. And look, it's moving back and forth. Going this way. It's pretty mushed up, it's hard to tell. Like these are all roos. They're all roo. And that's obviously cow. That's a big, yeah, big cow. Are there some deer? Sorry. I just saw all the wet. And I thought it's a good time to take in some information of what's been here and out and good and yeah. things like that. It's hard because it's a high traffic area. It's yeah. all You've up. got cows moving through here, roos and deer. Whereas when you're in the high country, it's like deer or pigs. That, and it's mostly deer. Or roos. And roos are really easy to spot. The idea is that we want him to go up. Well, you can start to see him. He probably won't break cover without a bit of any pressure on him. But if we can get us a uh, look at him coming down, it might be easy to get him. The ridge line is about 300 metres that way. So I don't want to push too far, too far. Does this high enough? with a local. Makes a big difference. <laughs> Don't say that to him. Feels way of saying it's his fault if we don't get a deer. So we uh, had no success finding that bump deer at the top um, of the ridge. So we're getting close to 4.30 now, which is According to Phil, prime time, <laughs> prime time for the deer. I believe him, mind you, prime time. But um, so the plan is we're, we're moving now up to, on top of the ridge line to go and sit at a dam um, that's pretty popular with the Reds. But the issue is that Phil's been telling me is there's been so much rain here that there's like puddles everywhere. And so obviously there's no pressure on the, um, the deer to actually go down to the dam. So we're hoping that um, that they still are kind of programmed and conditioned enough to want to go down there, even though they have water elsewhere and plenty of feed. But uh, sun is setting, so time will tell. We will see if we are victorious, and if we're not, Phil said it was his fault. So. <laughs> I did not. I said it was your fault. I said it was the deer's fault. I said it was the rifle's fault. <laughs> the weather's fault. <laughs> Take someone out hunting, you're like, I swear there was more deer here last time I was here, I swear. As it's, like it's getting later in the afternoon, the deer will come up out of this thicket, yeah. walk up that ridge, suss things out, sometimes have a little bit of a feed, come down to the water, and then end up going down that bit side of the hill. Okay. If we're going to be some, doing some walking and stalking and stuff, we'll be doing this side. But, uh, if we're doing the whole sit and wait strategy, be down, down there at the bottom of the hill. Okay. Watching that face, that ridge line, yeah. 
bank, but I'll come across that ridge line in the afternoon. Okay. Do you have a, a favorite Sydney spot? Yes. So after sitting and glassing this dam for about an hour and a bit, we didn't actually end up seeing any deer or, or any animals. I mean, there was one little wallaby, but that was about it. But you know what? That doesn't actually matter. I got to spend some amazing time with Phil. I got to get to know him more. He was sharing stories about how him and his son had started on this exact same spot numerous times and seen all of these different deer. He even <laughs> said to me that like nine out of ten times they see a deer on this property, which is pretty ridiculous odds, but apparently we were the the exception to that rule. But you know what? It was just an incredible time to sit, to enjoy nature. This is really what it's all about, about connecting with people in the lifestyle that you know and you love. And look, later on in that trip, I actually did go on a safari and I saw heaps and heaps and heaps of game. Uh, and you can go check it out. I went with Have A Go Safari to have the time of my life. We had a close encounter with poachers. It was insane. So if you go, if you want to go see some animals, go check out that video. Otherwise, hey, thanks so much for watching. It's been awesome to have you watching this video. Hopefully, get to see you in a video soon. Make sure you comment below with any experiences that you've had hunting in Queensland or even just say hi. Always happy for a chat. Also, if you haven't checked out the Australian Hunters Club, you're missing out because there are some amazing benefits that you can get access to, like free member hosted hunts and premium hunt giveaways and all good stuff. Go check it out. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.